All right. So it's official. Welcome, everyone. It's cookie season, which kicked off today. Whether you're a parent or you're a volunteer, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us for this fun time of the cookie season. Um, I don't know if you're as excited as we are, but you're here on Cookie Chat with the product program team. I'm Angela Foster. We're here with Sherry Lambert and also Sherry Millard. And at some point, some of our other team members are gonna join in as well. So we're gonna go through a few things for tonight's topic of digital cookie, cookie resources and some tips and tricks. So this is a pretty open um, chat. So first of all, it's cookie season in case you missed it. Um, hopefully by now, whether you're a parent or a volunteer, you have received your digital cookie welcome email. We started sending those emails out or the system started to send them out um, this past Saturday, which was December 11th. From time to time, they're continuing to go out as we continue to upload and add girls to the system, um, add volunteers, or even if you call or email us to let us know, hey, I need access into Digital Cookie, um, we'll work to get you at it. But first, be sure, because that's the one thing we're gonna ask you is that make sure that you check your email because um, those emails can sometimes float into those unique places of like your spam folder, um, your junk folder, or if you're a Gmail uh, email user, it can go to your promotions folder as well. So what are you looking for? You're actually looking for the subject, which is register for the digital cookie platform today. That's what you would look for when you're looking for your digital cookie email uh, to get started. And it will come from Girl Scout cookies. So again, if you didn't receive it, if you search high and low, please, please, please let us know and we will um, and we will uh, make sure to, you know, to get you um, into digital cookie. Ladies, did you want to say anything about that before I move over to the next slide? All no, right. No, I think we're good, Angela. Okay, great. So the next thing we're going to talk about is that once you get into Digital Cookie, if you haven't done this already, there are four, four, four easy steps. Whether you're a parent or you're a volunteer, you're registered, which is basically that's the email, right? Then you're going to set up your site. So if it's a girl site, meaning your daughter's site, help her work with her to set up her site. Um, make sure you look at the video first because it's going to ask you to do that. You can't bypass that video. It's basically kind of like the welcome, the instructions, and it's the terms uh, and conditions. It won't let you go past go unless you do those really quick things. If you're working with your daughter, work with her to figure out, well, what's her goal for this year? And also, what does she learn from, from participating in the cookie program? Maybe she wants to learn, well, for adults, it's customer service skills. But for her, maybe she wants to learn how to talk to people or count money, you know, or maybe even help her community. But be sure to enter a story and a goal into, um, into the digital cookie site. Because guess what? Your customers, they're going to be reading them. And, um, you know, many times that kind of helps them to determine whether or not they're going to support your Girl Scout and or your troop. If you're a troop leader and you're setting up the troops troop site, the same thing goes for you. Work with the troop to come up with a goal and a story, right? Because, you know, we all look at sites. And if I see a Girl Scout site and maybe it says, we're going to use our funds to plant flowers for a senior home, maybe I want to support that troop that may not have a clear message or story as to why they're participating in the cookie program and why they would love my support. The next thing you want to do if you're a parent is to invite customers. So upload your email list, you know, um, relatives, friends near and far, upload them into Digital Cookie and their um, emails in there that once you click, you click on um, that automatic email will go out asking for um, asking for support for your Girl Scout. If you're a troop leader and you're setting up your troops link. The same thing applies. However, let me just add in is that for troops, your um, process 
is a little bit different. A troop link, you can send out, upload a list and send out to customers. However, those customers will only have the shipped option if you're mailing the email out through the digital cookie platform. For volunteers, if you're a troop link and you want to offer that girl delivered option, make sure that when you set up the site, I'm sure you saw two links on your troop dashboard, make sure that you select which link you want to share with customers. And you can do that by sending it, you know, through a personal email, et cetera. The last thing, track your goal, right? Maybe if you re find out, oop, in week one, oh my goodness, my Girl Scout has already reached 500. You can always go in and edit that um, and edit what the goal is. That's perfectly fine. You can just keep upping it. It's great. Because, you know, um, of course, you know, make sure that your Girl Scout is involved because she's going to get excited as she sees her, girl, her goal numbers um, continue to increase. And I'm going to pause to see if my team has anything to say. Actually, Angela, I do have two uh, tips and tricks that I'd like to talk about really quick about yeah. setting up your site. Mm -hmm. So the one thing that is really important to remember when you're setting up your site is that you need to publish your site. Um, and so there will be a button that you'll have to press. I think it's pink, isn't it? To publish your site. I think and so. Once you publish your site, um, you just that then you'll be able to you'll have a link and you'll be able to send out the emails at that point. If you don't publish, you won't be able to see that link. And the other tip and trick that I have is that when you set up your site, whether it be for your daughter or for the troop, you need to do it on a computer. You can't set it up using the app because it won't give you the same prompts and it won't allow you to publish your site. So that is another thing is to always start out on the computer. And then once you're set up and published, you can move to the app. Love it, love it. Thanks, Sherry. There's always something new you can learn, so. All right, the other thing we wanna share with you and just the how awesome Digital Cookie is, did you know that Girl Scouts actually sell 25 to 50% more with digital cookie. Yes, that is true. Girls can use any option to participate and run her cookie business. Digital cookie is so easy because why? Because many of us are already on our phones, we're already on our tablets, and it's just so easy, just like we do with some other sites, you know, like Amazon or something like that. You just do it from your tablet and automatic, you know, make your decision to purchase. So again, keep that in mind if you're kind of on the fence as to whether or not to have your troop and or your Girl Scout participate in a digital cookie. And as a reminder, for girls, um, customers have the option of selecting to have their order shipped or donated or delivered by the Girl Scout. Let your customers decide. You would be surprised which options that they choose again, to help support, um, support the Girl Scout. And before I move to other tips, team, anything else you wanna share? Um, Angela, I wasn't sure if you had this later on in the presentation. The only other thing that I could think of to mention is that girl delivered orders will need to be approved within five days. Um, and by the parent, or if it's a troop link um, and you're offering girl delivery by the troop leader. Um, if it's a troop link, then there's only really one person considered the parent of that troop link and only one person can log in. So that would be the person that would need to approve any in-person girl delivered orders. Thanks, Sherry. Can Actually, I, I did play on that, that a little bit too. Yeah, absolutely, um, Sherry. Please be sure to check addresses of these customers. Don't just automatically approve, 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 approve. Um, because sometimes people from out of state will select mm -hmm. girl delivery option. We had this happen today. We've already had to cancel an order because they live in Florida. The girl lives here. The mom's like, mm, no, it doesn't make sense. I said, well, you can decline that order. And she's like, no, I already approved it. So um, be sure you're checking those addresses. And it is okay to decline an order that you are not willing to deliver. Yeah, thank you, Sherry, mm -hmm. that's great. And I'll just add another layer onto that um, as well. When the customer is actually placing their order and if they choose girl delivered, if you do not approve that order within those five days that Sherry mentioned, then what will happen is that the customer will receive another notification, kind of pretty much indicating that you haven't approved their order and 
do they want to move forward with their next or their next option, which is whatever they decided when they placed their order, which means they decided to donate their order or they decided to actually cancel it. So please, again, as Sherry mentioned, be sure, be sure, be sure to, you know, check your emails to make sure that, you know, you approve them within those five days. And as the other Sherry said, again, make sure to carefully look because, you know, we don't want to have to unnecessarily cancel what may be a great order for your Girl Scout because of the distance, you know, for that delivery. So thank you ladies for that. All right, so the one other thing I'm gonna move to, and then I'm gonna kinda um, switch gears a little bit and open it up to other questions that you may have. Resources, we have tons of them. Besides ourselves, please be sure to check out often because we're updating it often. Our website, gscookiesnow.com. There are resources for cookie sellers. There are also resources for cookie volunteers as well as a bunch of, of other great tools. For tonight's topic, the reason why I mention it is because if you don't know how to do something, don't worry. There are quick three minute or less videos on the website, whether it's for girl sellers or under um, cookie volunteers. If reading is more your thing, there are PDFs as to how to do something related to digital cookie on the website. We're so excited that GSUSA has helped to develop these great tools for us over and over and over again. But besides the digital cookie, there are other great resources out there that will help you along the way. And then of course, you can always reach out to us and we'll um, share that information with you as well. Ladies, anything about resources? Just check often. All right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because we have more coming, going on the site in, in a couple of days. So. Again, check often. So I want to share this with you. In the event you have any questions throughout this year's cookie program, please be sure to reach out to us. The product program team, drop us an email. We've been answering emails all day. So I'm sure you can imagine trying to get back to you quickly, quickly with the answers that you need. Or give us a call as well. If we don't answer, don't worry. Leave us a message. We will call you right back. We're very quick to do that too. No question is um, silly, um, it's okay. If you've asked us the same question 10 times already, we wanna make sure that you properly understand, but be sure to keep this contact information pretty much um, in your wallet. So um, any, any other tips? Um, do we want to um, open it up, so to speak, for any questions? Are there any questions in the Q&A? There is. Yeah. Um, where can I find your Zoom background? I didn't see it on the little bakery, on the, the little brownie site. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we laugh about this all the time. Um, and thank you for the compliment. We actually got that from Little Brownie. So um, we'll be sure to, um, to get it um, up on our website, which on that GS Cookies Now, we have tons of great virtual backgrounds on there. And so we'll be sure to um, get this one uploaded too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the, really the only questions. Wow, awesome. Yeah, so yeah. any questions, anyone, um, if you don't have an opportunity to type it in, it's like, raise your hand. It's like, we'll definitely unmute you. And as I ask you that, if you have something specific, for example, maybe there are girls who, if you're a troop leader, maybe there are girls who are not in your list or you've heard from a parent that they didn't receive their, their digital cookie email, just shoot us um, an email to product program and then we'll help to get that taken care of for you, okay? Same thing, if you're a parent and you're like, hey, I didn't get my digital cookie email, I looked high and low, please just shoot us an email and we'll help to get that taken care of for you. Mm -hmm. So a couple other things I will add, cause I'm just thinking about them and I know we have a raised hand. So we'll definitely address that as soon as I um, share this one thing with you. How long can, you, um, can your Girl Scout utilize digital cookie through the end of the cookie program? So from now until March 20th. I think it's right? the 20th. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now until March 20th, your Girl Scouts 
can utilize their digital cookie link. So that's awesome. It's like, you know, it's, it's a great, it's mm -hmm. great for them. So since I'm, you mentioned that, Ange, mm -hmm. can I add one more thing, please? Absolutely. Um, the the little uh, digital cookie is going to be live for you throughout the entire program, but it is going to pause when it's time for us to place the initial order in January. Orders can still be placed, but they just won't flow in um, into eBuddy and be calculated along with the rest of the girls' orders until we're finished placing the initial order, and then everything will flow back in. So just kind of a heads up that if you don't see something and it's around January 19th, 20th, it's because it's paused and they'll flow in once we open it back up again. Awesome. Thanks, Sherry. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a question. Oops, give me one second. So I'm going to allow this person to unmute themselves and ask their question. All right, you had a question? Hold on, let me just make sure. Thanks, everyone. All right, I believe this person is Chamberlain. And Chamberlain, I'm trying to unmute you. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's sorry, okay. I logged in under my work Zoom account. I thought I was coming in under my personal. <laughs> um, so I have a few questions, uh, a new question based on digital cookie really quickly. Um, yes. So based on, you know, you all said the link will stay open through March 20th. So during that gray area of that January 19th through let's say the 23rd or whatever, what will happen if someone clicks on that link? Will it say it's down or can you uh, guide but, me on that so I can let the troop know? They'll still be able to place an order. So nobody okay. on the customer side will see anything different than okay. what they would see normally. It just means that the order won't flow into eBuddy. Because if if you know eBuddy and Digital Cookie, they, the information flows back and forth between the two. And there is a wall that's put up when we're trying to place the initial order so that the numbers don't keep fluctuating and changing while we do that. Then once we're done placing the initial order, it'll open back up again and everything will flow back into eBuddy. Sure. And then as far as if someone selects girl deliver, will that cause an issue because of the numbers? No, not at all. Okay. Once the orders are paused, it just sits there and it doesn't process anybody. It just gives it a day or two Got it. to just okay. sit there. And then once it flows in, then you'll see those orders again. Okay. And then one mm -hmm. last question about this. Um, so even after the that January 19th date, um, as far as digital cookie, um, there will also be the option for girl delivered still. Yes, okay, that is correct. Okay. Just remember that once that wall goes up and those orders that are coming in during that pause time will not be included with the girl's initial order. So those cookies will have to come out of your troop extras or you'll have to pick them up, you know, and get them an, another way. They, they won't be part of her initial order if they came in after that wall went up. Yes. And, and thanks, Sherry, for that, because to that point, stay tuned. We don't want to inundate you with so much right now, um, is that when it comes to those cookies or what we'll call the second phase, we're going to have a session, um, tips, as well as a quick video on our site to explain how to easily fulfill those girl-delivered orders. Um, it's super easy, super simple. And it gives the girls the supplies that they need, you know, um, to provide to their customers. Okay. And then my mm -hmm. final question was about the, um, the troop site. Um, so I did set that up and I'm listed, you know, as the parent. Um, but when I put the goal in as far as the number of cookies sold, does that add to what all of the other girls are doing? Um, or what does that part that adds to our final count, correct? As far as what our goal is? Angela, do you know that question? I think that it it does, doesn't it? Yeah, so that troop link in short, and I had mm -hmm. to think about it, so please forgive right? me for pausing. <laughs> so that mm -hmm. troop me link too. is basically like, we're gonna call her an imaginary girl, mm -hmm. just like okay. any other girl in your troop. The goal that you set, it's, kind of like a, like a regular girl's goal, a personal goal. So say if that troop goal, it's like, oh, you know, from our troop site or troop girl, 
we want to, you know, I don't know, our goal is a hundred additional packages of cookies. And so say you meet that goal and we'll go over this again, mm -hmm. when we get closer to that time, then those 100 packages of cookies, what you'll do is that in a further step, you're going to end up allocating those cookies or spreading the wealth right. mm -hmm. to the other girls in your troop. And that will help to um, um, increase towards their personal goal and just the overall troop goal. Okay. Hey, great questions. Thank Those you. Those are all the questions I have. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. All right. Does anyone else have any questions? We have seven minutes left on our first cookie chat for this season. And those are awesome. Great questions. If you think of things, again, just let us let us know. In the interim, ladies, do you guys have any other tips? Or ladies, do you have any other tips? Excuse me. Um, as it relates to digital cookie, especially at this point in the process? I guess I'd just like to mention that we do have webinars on our website that give you the how-tos when it comes to digital cookie. If you're new to it and not sure how to, ha how to handle anything, you can always watch one of our webinars uh, and find out. And we also, I'm going to toot our horn a little bit on an upcoming webinar that we're going to have is an eBuddy webinar that will walk you through eBuddy and kind of explain the whole system to you. So if you're new to that as well, that's in January, uh, you can register for that right on our website and come on in and we'll show you how eBuddy works. And speaking of things coming up, let me just add this commercial break. We have Cookie Badge Bash. That's actually taking place January 8th. It's an opportunity for girls to um, to have fun and participate in activities, right? You know, I'm Sherry and CJ, participate mm -hmm. in activities, actually working towards earning a cookie badge, right? That's right. Two of the new, well, each level got two new cookie badges this year from GSUSA. And we're gonna work on one of those badges for each of the levels. And at the end of it, you will earn that badge and we will be mailing that badge out to the girls. So it's a great opportunity for them to kickstart and, and get ready for their cookie program. Excellent, excellent. Great. All right. Any other questions, anyone? We can give you five minutes back um, to your night. But, you know, again, if you have questions, you know how to reach us. We're here for you. And, you know, best wishes to your daughter and your Girl Scout troop and the Sure's Cookie Program. So if you don't have any other questions, you know, you're free um, to enjoy your evening. Um, and ladies, before we close. Um, any other questions in the Q&A? Oh, one just popped in there. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Teresa. I was working with Teresa a lot today, so <laughs> you're very welcome. Um, the one other question is, will the activities um, be what is in the virtual bash guide or will there be different activities? I'm guessing you're asking about our cookie badge bash. Um, those activities were put together actually by a team of volunteers that we work with, our regional volunteers, and they are based on the badges. And I don't know that they came out of like a cookie rally or virtual um, virtual meeting, any, any of those kind of resources that we have. I believe they came up with these activities on their own. That'll be cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I can't wait. Can't it's as much wait. as you can do virtually, right? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, awesome. Well, thanks again, everyone. Tune in. Um, our next cookie badge bash. Um, oh my gosh. See, that's where my head is right now. <laughs> our cookie badge bash. Excuse me. Our next cookie chat will actually take place um, in January. And we have a lot of things coming up in January that are going to be so helpful. And you'll hear more about those soon. But our next um, cookie chat will be in January. I believe it's January 26th. Or well, maybe will, one before that. I will that. check. I will check. Yeah. We have one. one um, well, we have one. Um, we have the eBuddy overview. That's yes. on Wednesday the 5th. And awesome. that's at 630. And then on the 19th, we have open mic night 
where you'll be able kind of like this, an open line where you'll be able to call in or log in and be able to answer your questions. And then the actual next cookie chat itself is on the 26th. And that one's really important because we'll be talking about delivery, getting ready for delivery, how to sort your cookies. Awesome, awesome. So things you don't wanna miss, don't mm -hmm. worry, you will hear about them. Again, check on GS Cookies now. Also, be sure to check your emails. We'll be sharing dates as well. And um, again, thanks for everything you do, everyone. So have a good night. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Thank have you. a great holiday. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good night. Good night. Good night, Teresa.